Oh my gosh, hey, I am so excited for today. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for this, like for us to finally hang out one-on-one. -on -one. And it's like, finally, our plans made it out the group chat. I have so many fun things planned for us today. And you're just gonna have to see, I have so many fun things. But first off, we need to set the mood. I have the cutest candle. Look how pretty this is. Like when I bought this, I've already used it so much because smell how good this smells. I know, it smells so good. I got this from Ross and it's like, it smells like fall. Even though it's like technically Christmas season now. It's called Autumn Botanian. I'm not sure. It says Rose and Jasmine fused with Vanilla Bee and Amber Musk. And it just smells so good. And I love this candle. We're gonna light this. But you like the way this smells, right? Because I have other candles too. You like this one? Okay. My lighter. I need to be careful with this because this is a little dangerous. But yeah. I'm gonna put this on the side. Are you all comfy and stuff? Well, you are? Okay. Just make sure that's okay. I have a bunch of blankets on my bed. I have this one from Halloween. I love it so much. Which are you cold? Okay. And I have Snorlax with us today. Our best buddy. This one I got from Target a while ago. I also got some stuff for you because I don't know when's the last like the next time I'm gonna see you. Cause I know like holidays are coming up. I don't know if you're gonna be traveling. I may be traveling, so we're going to do, like, everything I got you for Christmas. I'm going to give that to you today. Um, do you want that now or do you want that later? Okay, that's that's perfectly fine. We can do that later. Let's just get ourselves settled first. And, yeah. Well, I guess we can just, like, kind of go on throughout the night. Whatever you want to do, we can do it. I guess we're going to start with, like, relaxation i love to like face masks and stuff like that in my skincare i have some face masks for us to do today um so i have these two you can pick whichever one you want because it's honestly up to you this one is from patchology patchology and it's get dewy with it mega moisture sheet mask so this one's good if you have dry skin i'm not sure which one you have and then this one is a cat and it says baby pet magic mask sheet soothing cats so i have these two which one do you want you want the cat one let's read the back real quick so this one actually does look like a cat and this one is good it says you know the feeling of your thirsty skin is crying out for moisture with sad little puffs of desert for air you don't have dry skin? Okay, so then you can use this one. I have dry skin, so I'll use this one. But I can help you with this. Okay, like, let's open it together. And we can actually, let's like figure out our hair situation first. I have my brush here if you don't mind using my brush. I promise I don't have lice or anything like that. But we should probably get our hair out of the way. And you're just going to brush my hair. My hair isn't that naughty right now, but trust me, it's gonna get really naughty. See, did you hear that? And let me just brush your hair. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to ask you. Your hair's not that naughty. Your hair's really nice, by the way. And I'm just gonna like brush it out the way. And then we can use this. gonna unfold it it is so slippery and wet and that's gonna look really cute hold on just give me a second hold on are you ready for this one two three Ta -da! okay it feels really nice i'm like barely touching it but it feels really nice it has like cool little marks on the forehead i'm gonna put this on your face is that okay okay perfect okay so don't get to touch your face i'm just gonna 
move it around so it's like actually fitting your face and doesn't look weird. So it's okay if I touch your neck, okay? Because I'm gonna put the serum on your neck too. And if you want, you can kind of take it and put on your arms. I always do that myself. Okay. And you just make sure your hair's not in it because I don't want your hair to be all like messed up later. You look so cute with that cat mask on. There's some on my hands. I'm just gonna rub this on my hands too. My hands are pretty dry. And yeah. It's so like moisturizing. I don't even know what this does, but it feels really nice on my hands. My hands are really smooth. I don't know if you can see that. My hands are so smooth. And that's gonna be your face. Your skin is already really nice though. So Okay, since we're kind of on like the topic of skincare right now, I'm just gonna give you your first gift because I'm really excited for it. Ready? Three, two, one. Ta da! I have this skincare set for you. It even comes with a cute little headband and it comes with these three little things that you can use. The first one is for your face, it is a makeup remover. The second one is for your eyes, it's an eye cream, and the third one is a peel-off mask that you can use. And then of course, the cute little bow on the top of your head that's going to keep it out of your face, your hair out of your face when you use it. I feel like it also helps you, like, have a lot of room to do your stuff. I don't know. It just doesn't, it gets your hair out of your face. Whenever I do my skincare, I always leave my hair in my face. And it's so annoying. I always do my skincare right after I get out of the shower, so my hair's kind of already out of my face. But when I get ready for the day and I'm, like, doing my makeup, I always, like, take out my hair first. So my hair's all in my face, especially my bangs. So I have to lift up my bangs and do it. So this is really going to help you. Here, I'm, I'm going to put this, like, next to you so you can take it later. I heard from one of your other friends that you really like reading. So I have some of the books that I already read that I wanted to recommend to you. Um, like, I literally just finished reading all these. Uh, this one is the first one, Good Girl's Guide to Murder. It is so good. It's basically, like, about this murder that happens in a really small town. And then a high school student who's completing her capstone project is trying to solve it because she doesn't think that who they think murdered, like, the alleged murder, killed the girl like the victim so it's basically about her and the the victim's little brother trying to solve the murder i'm so sorry i'm so bad at explaining things but it's really interesting and i think you should read it but i have two other ones if you want to take those ones too the front is like really jacked up i don't know what happened here but it looks like someone took a big bite out of the front and i have no idea how that happened i've had this for a really long time though and I finished this like a couple of weeks ago and it is so good. This is like the only at Walmart one, but I have another copy. So if you want to take this one, you could just have it, to be honest. And then I also have the sequel to that one because if you finish reading this one, like if you want to read this one, you definitely need to read this one because this one is also so good. I don't think it's as good as the first one, but I feel like that's just a preference thing. I feel like usually, when I watch something or if I'm like reading something, the first one is always my favorite. So this one is kind of like a sequel to this one. I don't think you really need to because it gives a little bit of context when you first start reading this one. So if you want to start reading this one too, then you can, but I really recommend you read this one first. So if you take this one, you're ha you have to take this one after. There's also a third book. But I am reading that one right now, so I can give you that one too, if you want to read the third one. But, yeah. And then I have one more book called The Murder Game. And I read this one, like, a little while ago, so my memory is, like, a little behind on it. But the back, I can read the back for you. It says, Luke Chase would never wanted to get caught up on a murder when his roommate Oscar convinces Luke to break the rules and sneak out of their boarding school dorm one night. It sounds fun. They meet up with a couple of girls in the forest, have a good time, and no one will ever know. 
but when the wife of one of the teachers is found dead in the woods the next morning, Luke realizes that they're in deep trouble. Instead of admitting where they were, the group decides to solve the murder on their own, but with many suspects, will they be able to catch the killer before the killer catches them? I really like this book, and I remember back when I was working in a restaurant, I would be waiting for more customers to get in if you're having a, like a slow day or slow, slow night, and I would be sitting behind the counter reading this book, and my boss is actually, like, my old boss used to be my parents' friends, and he would come over and be like, wow, I think it's so good that you're reading, but literally every other time, like, I would be on my phone playing solitaire because that's what I was doing all the time back then when I worked there, but yeah, this one is a really good book. It literally, like, these, all these books are about murder mysteries, so this one is about, like, a kid who goes to a boarding school and he's trying to solve a murder and then his ones are about like a high school student who's reading it and yeah which one do you want to read first you can take all of them out, honestly because i already read all of them and you can just give them back to me next time i see you because i'm probably going to see you at school right so i'm going to put this next to your gift this is also like kind of kind of a gift but I kind of, like, I just want you to read those books because they are so good. And I know you like reading too. So, yeah. Before we do anything else, I just wanted you to take this water because we need to stay hydrated. I just got these out from, like, from, like, my front door. <laughs> because my parents just got home with more water. So, you take that. And. Make sure you drink it and stay hydrated. You know what they say, hydrate or dehydrate. Also, look at my pants. I've had these since like freshman year. That's like two years ago. And I still have them and they still fit me. These are like my Christmas pajama pants. And they have like little gingerbreads on it. Except I don't really like the shape of them because they're tight around my calves. I really like pants that are like more loose and open-legged at the bottom. Or just not tight around my calves. Or I like baggy sweatpants that are, like, they scrunch at the bottom, but they're wide also at the bottom, like, they're straight-legged. Or if they're just straight and they're open at the bottom. But I feel like I really like them better when it's scrunched at the bottom. If that makes sense? I, I have no idea. Are you hungry? Okay. Because I got some snacks for us tonight that you can eat, like throughout the night. I have a whole bunch of different ones if you don't like some of them. I have strawberry pocky. I feel like, in my opinion, I think strawberry is the best. It kind of matches my shirt because it's both pink. But I think I have some chocolate pocky in my cupboard as well if you like chocolate. But I just got strawberry out because I feel like strawberry tastes the best. And then I have some other stuff too. I have these like choco pies. Um, that I got from a friend. I don't know if you like these because I know a lot of people, like, I feel like they're overrated. They're not that good. But I have them if you like these ones. And I also have these chocolate ham chocolate hazelnut. I'm not sure what these are. It feels like sticks. So I'm thinking it may be like those wafer stick things. Like the circle ones. I'm not sure. But if you like chocolate hazelnuts. If you're allergic to nuts, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna put these over here, if you're allergic to nuts. And then I also have these Oreo cake strings that are soft Oreos that are, have your cake in a cookie too. So I think this is just like a cake version of Oreos. And if you're hungry, I'll eat with you too. Which ones do you want? You have the Pocky. Or the chocolate pie, and this one has two. So we can share this. Do you have this one? Okay. Okay. I'll just open it, and then you can have this one, and I will have this one. Do you want to try them at the same time? I've never had these before. Okay. Cheers, darling. Okay. Ready? Three, two. I don't want to get crumbs on my bed, so I'm going to be really careful. 
I think they're good. They're a little dry though. Do you like them? Okay, good. I have other stuff if you don't like them. It's really sweet too, so make sure you drink that water that I gave you. It should be right next to you. I also I bought my sketchbook so we can draw and I can take out some pages for you. I also wanted to show you some of mine because I know you're interested in art club. And I'm in art club. So I can like kinda show you what we do. We do like a lot of like random sketches. This is some random sketches that we do. And you can honestly like do whatever style you want. They don't really care. Um, this is what my room used to look like. And I drew like an upward view. It was um like a project that we did on June eleventh is when I did this. And yeah, all of us we did like an upward sketch, like a bird's eye view of our room. And then I have a lot of pictures like drawings of people because I like drawing people. <laughs> And I really like, so I like doing pencil drawings. This is probably like my favorite. I like copied it off of Pinterest. This girl, I think it's, I think it turned out really good, even though I had like basically copied someone off of it, but at least I admit it. And I tried to draw, I don't know if you know that girl in our class that sits in the front. And she just like reminds me of a sunflower. And she's so pretty, so I tried to draw her. She she looks better in person, if you ask me. But, I don't know. She's really pretty. Uh, can I draw you later, too? I think you're so gorgeous. And, yeah. I have so many stickers in the front of my sketchbook. I think my favorite has got to be this bread cat. I feel like he stands out a lot. And I really like this shark, too. I'm trying to cover up my whole sketchbook with stickers, if you couldn't tell, but I have so many stickers still and I have some space to cover up. This sketchbook is literally from like 5 below and I got it so long ago. I feel like one issue that I have is like if I draw something in my sketchbook, then I will literally rip it out if I don't like it. But I'm trying to like fix that now. I'm not going to pull any more pages out because I already pulled a lot out of here. I want to make this sketchbook really thick, but yeah, it's starting to get a little hot in here, is that just me? Yeah, I'm gonna blow out the candle, because that's kind of like a factor for, is that okay? Okay. It didn't go out. I'm struggling. Oh, that's so I really like the look of the smoke. It looks really nice. I'm gonna put that on the side so I don't drop it or anything. I also have some hair clips for you if you want to put your hair up and they can help you. I have this brown claw clip. Claw clip. And I have this one's pretty small. This one is bigger. It's pink. Just two side by side and they're both clear. I have some other ones too, but I have no idea where they are. And these are like my favorite ones to hold up hair. I feel like your hair is like way more thicker than mine, so how about you use this one? Okay. And I think it would match your outfit really well. Okay. I'm just gonna clip your hair up. Okay. Perfect. Okay, I just can't wait anymore. I need to give you your next gift, okay? Three, two, one. Ta da! I got you this notebook. It's a bullet journal, so you can basically like do whatever you want in it. You could draw in it, you could journal, you could write down notes. You do whatever you want. And it's this really pretty pink color. So I put an American flag sticker in the front because I thought it'd be cute. And this is like a really high quality journal. I'm not sure where it's from. There's no label on it. But I got it from Ross, and it was such a good deal. I got it for you because I just thought it was really cute. And the paper quality is so nice. So that's, it's really nice, thick paper that you can use. 
draw watercolor you can take paint on it too so make sure your paint dries before but so here you go and i was actually thinking maybe we could draw something together right now i love drawing with these colorful pens that have a whole bunch of different colors on the side and i got two i got this really cute bear one and i got this christmas one for christmas time all the colors are the same i think I think this one has a little bit more colors. Which one do you want to draw with? You want the Christmas one? Okay. Here, you can draw with that one. And I'll draw with the bear. And so how you use this one is you just push down whatever color you want. And then to push other colors up, you just push another color. So if, you, if, you, if you're using red, you can push on the yellow and it'll go like that. Okay, here you go. Okay, you can draw in your journal, and I'll draw in my sketchbook. What do you want to draw? We can try to draw the same thing, and it's like cute and matchy. Okay, let's draw cats. Because you have your cat face mask still. I still need to take that off. I can help you take that off in a second. But we can just draw like a quick little sketch. Because we need to take that off of you soon. And I don't want to get the moisture I guess on our papers so let's just draw like for a little bit together drawing is really therapeutic to me because you don't really have to think and I feel like I'm good at like school subjects like math and stuff but it can get really exhausting I don't know about you, but just like thinking about math all the time, I don't know how people do that, but it's not for me. I can do it, I'm just, I get lazy. Uh, so how's school for you since you moved to a new school? That's good to hear. I'm glad that you're making new friends, and I'm so glad that I can be one of them. Do you know what clubs you're going to join? I think you should join the Asian Student Union, because I am president of the Asian Student Union. And you should join Key Club too. Club is a lot of fun. And we actually just finished doing a toiletry drive. So, yeah, we do focus a lot on our community. And we like to help out in the community. So, I think other key clubs, they focus on other organizations to raise money for. Um, but we mostly focus on the community. And so we're donating some toiletries to local homeless shelter. Okay, I think it's time to take off your cat. What does your cat look like? This is mine. It's so cute. Okay, let's get that off of here. I'm just gonna take this off. And then you can throw this away. Okay, is it okay if I touch your face again? Okay, I'm just gonna this into your face so that it stays like your skin can really absorb it so let me just pat 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 in this into your face and yeah I'm gonna put some on your neck as well your skin is literally glowing like I don't think you understand your skin is literally My skin used to be really clear. I don't know what happened, but I started getting acne on my forehead. Like, I don't know if it's acne. I think it's just some texture. Um, so I'm trying to fix it right now. But it's honestly okay. Your face is so pretty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to be weird. But you're just really pretty. Okay, 
one last thing we need to do before we go to sleep is that we need to take a picture together for to remember this night so i have my digital camera and it is so cute i love this camera so much um and i love going through my pictures too there's like some me and my friend and this was the first picture it was a video the first video i ever took on this camera when i was learning how to use it i'm not gonna play it because it's too loud this was me and homecoming this one's me and we were at texas roadhouse this was my friends i really like this camera because i love the aesthetic of it so how do i go back I'm just gonna have to turn it off, but I love it. It's so cute. The little bye bye, the, and it says welcome. Okay, so let's take a picture together. Ready? Here, I'll take a picture of you first. Smile. It takes a second. It is so cute. Okay, now let's take one of both of us. Ready? Can you just hold it there? I think it turned out super good. Let's look at it. It looks so good. Okay, and then I can upload it to my phone with my adapter, and I'll send it to you over text messages, okay? Okay, well, it's time for us to go to sleep now. I hope you enjoyed this. This was so much fun for me, and yeah, I hope you had a good time. But I am so tired now. I'm ready to go to sleep. I'm going to see you in the morning. I am... I'm literally gonna pass out.